Hey, GearHeads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at the Gathering 2021 at the Sawmill Training Facility in Lawrence, South Carolina. I've got Dale from Palmetto State Armory who's going to uh, tell us all about the Jackal. Hey, Jeff, glad you guys could come down. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, today we have our version of the bufferless AR. This is the Jackal. This is our version in 5.56. We showed a 300 blackout version last year at SHOT Show. This is the 5.56 version. This is actually one of our endurance guns. This gun's been running for about 4,000 rounds now. Oh, wow. And uh, continues to just to, to run great. So uh, we're actually in the testing phase on this project. Mm -hmm. So the design's finished. We've been running the guns hard and we'll continue to run the guns hard. So the idea is that we get 15, 20,000 rounds on each of the guns, see what they did good, see what they did bad, and make sure there's nothing that we need to tweak. Um, when we talk about the gun itself, this is a bufferless AR, so there's no more recoil system in a buffer tube. The recoil system is above the bolt. Um, there's a spring tube with a captured recoil spring. It's a telescoping rod, just similar to the, the AK system. It's a long stroke gas piston, so there's no more direct impingement. You don't get gas in your bolt. You don't get all the soot in your ejection port. You, you, the gun stays fairly clean. Nice. Um, it is a forward charging handle. So the charging handle is up front instead of back by your face. Mm -hmm. It's a little easier to manipulate and it is fully ambidextrous. So when you have the gun apart, the charging handle comes all the way back. It can come out, be inserted on the other side and you have left nice. or right hand charging. There is an adjustable gas block and it's, it's a three position gas block. So you have a on setting, just a, a standard fire setting. You have a suppressed setting. So when you run your suppressor, you just click it over one click mm -hmm. and you're good to go suppressed. And then you have off for those occasions where you may want to be extra quiet, sure. suppressed. But the, uh, this is a 10 and a half inch barrel and we found that the 5.56 runs best in the 10 and a half inch barrel. You know, we can go shorter, but it gets obnoxious. It gets, you know, a yeah. little finicky tune. Um, the 300 blackout will come next. So this will be our initial release, the, the gun the way it is now. Pistol format, it won't come with a brace. You know, our customers are allowed to do whatever they want to do in, yeah. inside the law. 300 blackout will come next. It'll be a month or two behind that. <clears throat> Just, we need to make sure that the, uh, the everything works with 300 blackout. Sure. After that, we'll be doing a blowback nine millimeter version with our ARV lower. We'll be doing rifle length barrels, rifle length receivers, and various AR calibers. Does it make you happy when people ask, when can I get one? It, it, it does not, actually. It does so, not? No, it doesn't. So I, I'm going to say, that's I'm, a hell of a compliment that people is. are so it, eager to get a hold of it. And I'm You're super... going through the list of features, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> no, 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 you can stop now, just here. Yeah. And I'm super but, excited yeah. about, about getting the gun into everybody's hands. I really do. I, I'm excited about that. Yeah. The, the firearms environment right now is tough, right? So it's tough yeah. for us to get yeah. parts. It's tough <laughs> for us to get even raw materials. It's yeah. even tough for us, Palmetto State Armory, to get enough ammo to test with. Right. You know, so some of this stuff is, is being pushed out a little bit. Um, we do have an amazing team at PSA that, that's, that's worked with me. You know, everybody from just receiving in the warehouse to engineering to purchasing guys, they've all been great. Um, but we are, we are trying to rock and roll on this thing and get it out as fast as possible. But we need to make sure it's a quality product. We need to make sure this gun can hold up like sure, our AKs sure. do, like our ARs do. I told everyone your name. I didn't, we didn't talk about what your role in this yeah, is. So, That's so, important. Yeah, it is. This is actually my design. So this, yeah. is, this is my baby. This came out of my head. Um, it is a blend of existing systems. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason that we did that, there, there are known systems that work. Like the AR-15 bolt and barrel extension, that lockup, mm -hmm. that's known to be a dependable quality system. Mm -hmm. So we, we maintain that. Um, the, the gas system is uh, very similar to the AK-47, and that's known to be a robust, you know, it'll eat anything, it'll run all the time, it'll run mm -hmm. underwater if it has, I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a very robust system. So that's what we, we adapted to this. This is my gun, this, this came out of my head. So all right. Super excited I think you're onto it. something. I, I know a lot of people are very eagerly, some patiently, probably lots more impatiently there, there are, waiting. There is some impatience. Yeah. But a lot of but, guys got uh, to shoot it this way. This is good. All right, so well, how about we do that? Why don't we go over to the range and get some video? We can put that in after we're done talking sure. and maybe we can give our feedback later on uh, what we thought when we shot it. So until then, Sounds we'll great. see you at the range. That one doesn't have an optic text and needed it for something. Let's do that. Um, Good. 
Got used to the uh, light triggers. This one is not a light trigger. Oh. Here, trade me. You get a couple. What's that? You mean to get a couple shots of it? Yep. You shoot it one-handed. Oh yeah, you can. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range. Mm -hmm.